coming to a golf course near you in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, a major championship, the KPMG Women's PGA Championship at Aronimink, and you'll learn all about it on this episode of The Traveling Golfer. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Always activity at Aronami Golf Club. Players out there, championships being played, all levels, amateur, professional. And when you come to Aronami, you never really know who you might wind up seeing, including one of the most prominent members, Jay Siegel. Tony, how are you? Jay, thanks for having me at your home golf course. Pleasure, pleasure, always good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too. And I could tell you were admiring the course out there, so some thoughts in your mind must be going around about another major championship coming, the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. It's exciting. Very exciting. We're uh, looking forward to it, the entire membership, uh, and volunteers in the community, and uh, ticket sales are going well, and uh, I'm interested to see how the ladies do. Yeah. It really is part of great tradition here at Aronimic that started all the way back when they brought in one of the most famous names to build the course, Donald Ross, and uh, there's been a lot of changes to the course over the years, but Donald Ross's pedigree is here. Sure is. Um, I think he's most well known for his greens. Um, we've maintained them for the most part. I think everything looks great. We've got all the bunkers back and uh, remove some trees. The vistas are great. Gil Hans did a fabulous job. Uh, I'd call him an artist at this point. I would too. Gil, of course, the architect from the Southeast Pennsylvania area, the third of three pretty renowned architects who have done renovations here way back. Robert Trent Jones came in and then in preparation for the 2003 PGA, Ron Pritchard came in, a Donald Ross expert, and did a wonderful job too. I think all three of them have done things that help, and of course that's really the mantra of modern golf courses. If you're not making it better, you're making it worse. Correct. Yeah, this is, they opened up the greens, opened up uh, the fairways, and as I said, we've taken out some trees, which is, uh, so the vistas are much, much more attractive. 2000. 10 and 11, while they were redoing that place down in Washington, mm -hmm. Congressional, they brought the AT&T Championship here. Tiger Woods here at Aronimi for the first one. Yeah. Uh, that, I remember the excitement of that week. It was really something. It was fabulous. Tiger was most personable. Uh, we had some wonderful conversations. He loves this golf course. Uh, the weather was perfect. The galleries, I think they said it was one of the largest galleries, 100, 120,000. Um, and uh, the scores, I think 10 under or something like that won in 10 and maybe 12 under in uh, the following year. Tiger really enjoyed being here. Yeah. And that sort of set the ball in motion for the BMW Championship, which came here in 2018 part of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Again, huge galleries, despite the fact that early in the week, torrential rains. Right, did. exactly. But the course stood up well, and uh, the tournament itself was a precursor of what might be coming down the line with the KPMG coming in 2020. And then finally, and I've got to imagine this was a very happy day for you, and the other members here, 
the announcement that the 2026 PGA Championship will be coming right here to Aronomy. We're looking forward to it. The PGA is looking forward to it. The players are looking forward to it. They really enjoy being here. And uh, why not? So uh, two special events coming and we're all excited. A history of Aronomy Golf Club from the days that Donald Ross first set foot on this amazing piece of property in suburban Philadelphia, all the way through the great names, Gary Player, Tiger Woods, on through the present. We'll see who steps up. Jay, you'll be here. I'll be here. That is great. God willing. All righty. It's good to talk to you out here at Aronomy. Always. And always good to get a little bit of the feel from this very, very special property from someone who's lived it for so long. Exactly. Thank you. Do you like Tour Edge? I love Tour Edge. This is seriously high tech. And they're long, right, Duff? Built in the USA? Oh, I love that. I need forgiveness. Did I mention these puppies are long? Really long. You know why I love Tour Edge? It's because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Are you tired of misreading putts? You read it to break left, and it breaks right. With a Strekalign green reading book, you will know how your ball will roll on the green. Here is how you read it with the Strekalign arrows. Strekalign is used by touring pros, and now you can get the same book for your course. Save 50% today by using this promo code. Included with your purchase, you will get an instructional green reading video for free. So buy a book now so you can make more putts in your next round. Command Central for the KPMG Women's PGA Championship and Tournament Director Jackie Ensley, who has been living on premises here at Aronomic. And when it's all said and done, It'll be about two years that she has lived in the Philadelphia area. You've become a Philadelphian, sort of. Sort of, Tony. Ah. Sort of. I'm learning. I'm learning the ins and outs. That's for sure. Well, let's see. We might give you a test here. See how much you've learned about the Philadelphia area. Of course, there are very many iconic words and places and things, and <laughs> of course. Uh, if you go for a little drink, not a cocktail drink, but a, a drink of? Water. Water. <laughs> Which I can't even say that. I can't say that the right way. It's water. But, <laughs> and yes. of course, the water, <laughs> as they say, flows down the hill in a? In a creek. Crick. 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 Yes. All right. <laughs> Philadelphian. And of course, after you came here, how long was it before you had your first cheesesteak? Mm, I'd say about a month, oh, and I'm man. learning it's chi-wit. <laughs> Jeez, wit! <laughs> but I, I don't think that comes off my tongue very easily, so <laughs> I always get mine with American and mushrooms and onions. Very cool. That's a good way <laughs> to do that. I'm glad you have gotten acclimated to the area because two years on the property here at Aronomy is a long time. This headquarters, though, is where it all happens, Command Central. And it's all part of putting on a major championship, which is a big undertaking. Yes, absolutely. We do get here two years in advance. We have a lot of things that we have to worry about, whether it's parking locations, um, site plan main entrance, where our spectators will flow and where they'll sit uh, to watch some of the greatest golfers in the world. Well, I have to say, this Command Central has been humming <laughs> all the way up to the preparation time and through to the tournament, I'm going to guess that it's going to be a great tournament because I've never seen so much advanced preparation. The threefold entities, mm -hmm. KPMG, mm -hmm. LPGA, PGA, 
I think they're working pretty well. If we can only get our sports teams in Philadelphia to work it, same kind of cohesion, <laughs> well, we'll work on that later. No, we're really excited. This is a unique collaboration, so we're very excited to be here for the sixth year of this event. All right. KPMG Women's PGA Championship from the headquarters here. Command Central, right on the grounds of Moronomic. Steve Byrne, Executive Director, Visit Delco PA, the tourism agency charged with bringing visitors to Delaware County, but not necessarily charged with bringing a major championship here. That's a big job, and Steve, what made you think that Delaware County could host a major? Well, Tony, that's a great question. And, and history has shown that Delaware County has had many tournaments in the past. And they've also had more USGA championships of all sorts than any course in America. And that has bled over to other clubs in Delaware County as well, Tony. PGA Championship in 1958 came to Lanark Country Club. And Rolling Green hosted a U.S. Women's Open and a U.S. Women's Amateur. So now, fast forward to 2020. Yes. Aronimate Golf Club, the KPMG Women's PGA Championship, a women's major, another major at Aronimic. You know, 1962, the PGA Championship there. So they've had other tournaments since then, but now a big one. Yes, and we're, we're looking forward to supporting that. I know the area is going to support it. Um, it's just golf in this area is just is just hungry for these type of athletes coming in here and playing a tough course like Aronimic. Jeff Kitty, head golf professional, Aronimic Golf Club and another title president philadelphia section pga that's quite a double duty you have there lucky enough to have both titles yeah i feel pretty honored well it is an honor and there's no question about it you have the faith of all your fellow professionals in section and the faith of all the members here at aronimic and that is a very story tradition at Aronimic. Uh, there has been a long list of major championships and professional events that have taken place and now for the first time a women's major. Yeah, a new chapter for us. You know, we've, uh, championships have been a big part of, of, of who we are as a club and, and what we've done. Um, but we've never had a, a women's professional event, let alone a major. Um, so we're really excited about it. And hosting championships is what we do and to to take on an event that we haven't had you know we've had the PGA championship we've had the senior PGA championship I believe we're the first club to host all three professional PGA championships now uh, once we once we do host this and that's going to mean a very busy week for you here at Aronimic <laughs> but you must be a glutton for punishment because you took on another duty yeah, it'll be fun. I'm uh, on the PGA of America Rules Committee, uh, so with that we, we work as, as rules officials for our championships, and I'm lucky enough to be able to work as a rules official here at Aronimic at, at my home club for the, for the event. And speaking of the golf course, they're going to be playing a different golf course because it's gone through a couple of facelifts, starting with the one that Ron Pritchard did at the beginning of the century, and it was a wonderful renovation. But then Gil Hans was brought in to do another renovation, and uh, the course is different. Yeah, aesthetically especially, it looks a lot different. You know, with the, the bunker schemes changing quite a bit, the style of the bunkers going from one bunker to clusters of bunkers, it is definitely going to look a lot different. Uh, Speaking of those bunkers, I remember the first press release coming out saying that the new design was going to add 72 bunkers to Aronimic, and I, I, I gasped. I, I had visions of you know, the Sahara Desert out here, <laughs> uh, and it's not like that at all. I was, I was proven wrong. Yeah, it, it was a shocking number to say you're adding 72 bunkers when we only had 80-some bunkers to begin with. But once you saw the work that it was um, 
turning one bunker into a cluster. And it takes up a little bit more of a footprint than what we had, but it didn't, dub it didn't double the size of the amount of sand we had. And as you say, the aesthetics are way different and really striking, uh, giving us great pictures out on the golf course. So for our viewers who maybe were out here for the AT&T Championship, haven't been out here since, see the new design, what hole are they going to notice the most and say, well, that one really did change? I think the one that, um, for people that know the golf course the most, that looks the most different and maybe even plays uh, differently is number 11. Um, it has just incredible aesthetic beauty with the bunkers that were added, yeah. uh, the bunkers that were uh, returned behind the green, um, uh, the bunkers that were put back in on the left. So now there's bunkers on right and left uh, before we only had the bunkers on the right off the tee shot. But then uh, the bunkering that was placed behind the green just gives the hole a totally different look. So I think that one changed how it looks the most and maybe how it plays the most too. For visitors coming in to the area to mm -hmm. see this event, the entire experience is going to be pretty special. It's a nice time of year here, a lot of things to see and do. Yeah, you know, start of summer, uh, agronomically, we should be in a great place with a golf course to put on a great show. Um, the tournament's fantastic. I got to work it a couple years ago at Kemper Lakes as a rules official, and it's a fantastic event. The PGA of America, you know, I'm a proud PGA member. Um, we do an awesome job with this tournament. It's a, it's a special event. It's one of, one of their favorite, if not their favorite event of the year. If there is one hole out there that could wind up being a turning point, you always talk about the risk-reward holes, somebody takes a chance, they get a reward or maybe they have their hopes dashed. Is there one of them out there? You know, I'm sure there's always a hole that's a turning point. It's, I think a lot of it will have to do with uh, setup of the golf course, how they set it up, um, if, they, uh, if they make a par five more reachable for more people or if um, they put an up tee on like our 17th hole uh, to give people the, the challenge of going at a, a whole location they might not go at. So I think a lot of that's going to be determined on, on the setup of the golf course and how Kerry and, and the team sets it up. Over the years, the one thing that always struck me when I played Aronomy, and with the re renovation it certainly hasn't changed, is that there is a set of four par threes on this golf course that are all memorable. Yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be a, uh, a focal point. You know, and we're, we're lucky too that we have four really different kind of playing par threes and we have the, the elasticity to make them play differently. We have a, a great short little par three with a really dynamic green. Um, one of the great long par threes in the area for sure, number eight, that always plays as one of the most challenging holes on tour when we host a tour event. Um, so that it'll be it'll be great to see how the ladies play that hole, and then 14 and 17 can be set up in a lot of different ways um, to challenge the players. All right, Jeff Kitty, he is the head golf professional at Aronimic Golf Club, also Philadelphia section president, also rules official during the week of the tournament. But he doesn't have enough to do. He's still such a good host. You need to find a good cheese steak in the area, or a place to go for dinner, or a hotel recommendation, he'll do that for you too. He's that accommodating when it comes to hosting a championship. Jeff, great talking to you. Thanks, Tom. Right. Steve Byrne, Executive Director of Visit Delco PA. We're at one of the most photographed spots at Aronimink Golf Club, a magnificent downhill par three. This might even be one of the most photographed spots in all of Delaware County. Bottom line, visit Delco PA, but don't miss number eight at Aronimic. All right, time to put it all on the line. It is prediction time. I want to know, of these 18 holes, all great holes, for me, all difficult, which hole or two do you think is going to pose the biggest challenge to these women players? Tony, great question. I, I'm not sure. Uh, if, if we go back to the AT&T, the, uh, the two holes that were highest in relation to par were the two par threes on the number eight and number 14. Um, 
Number eight will probably play 180 for the women, and number 14 will play similar to that 180. So depending on where the pins are placed, they're, they're two tough holes. They're, they're all you can ask for. Yeah, the par threes at Aronimic are always a challenge, despite the fact that when visitors come here and they leave, they're always talking about some bearish par fours. I mean, they are brutes out there. Uh, depending how far back they're going to play it, uh, we could see some higher numbers there. How about the other side of the equation? If you're betting, where are the birdies going to happen out here? I would say the par fives. Uh, 16 is maybe reachable for some of the ladies, and um, or it's nine depending on where the tee is. But the the green, you know, they'll be hitting a wedge pitch or whatever into the green. I, I think those two par, par fives will be the scoring holes. And then um, I think it's the person who putts the best during the week because they all drive in the fairway. So the rough's not going to be a factor. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. They do hit it very straight. Last thing, an insider's tip. Best viewing point. When, mm. when our fans come out to the KPMG, a good spot to watch the action. I like this one right here because you're close to the well, bar, yeah. but, but that's different. That's me, so how about the rest of the people? I would say the very best spot is behind the 8th green, by the 11th tee, by the 9th tee, you see 17, you see 16 green. That's the best. And um, there's shade. I don't know what the tent situation will be, but I'm sure there'll be a bar out there for you, Tony. <laughs> All right. There you have it. The hot spot for viewers at the KPMG. Make sure you're there. I'll be there. Jay will be there. I'm going to say a lot of the avid golf fans from Philadelphia area and across the country will all be there. It's going to be a big event. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Tony Leodora's golf wardrobe, courtesy of Antigua, the leader in modern golf apparel. Tour Edge is the official equipment sponsor of The Traveling Golfer.